Before, holiday destinations used to be London, Milan, Paris, or even Amsterdam. In the modern world, travelers are now switching sides and going to unexpected destinations including South Asia and African nations. And Gambia is the so-called hot, popular, and new vacation spot that everyone wants to visit. In fact, the African nation is often nicknamed the Smiling Coast of Africa because the Gambia River that passes through it looks like a smile. Keep on watching what other tourist destinations make Gambia popular with tourists. Number 1. Albert Market The Royal Albert Market, which is made up of three different marketplaces and is located on Liberation Avenue in Banjul, was named after the husband of Queen Victoria, Prince Albert. It is a great destination to discover while on vacation in the Gambia. The tourist market, which caters to travelers to the Gambia, is quite similar to the other markets scattered around the coastline tourist destinations. It sells clothing, jewelry arts, and crafts. However, this area of Royal Albert Market is not the major draw, even if you still like talking to the booth owners and negotiating over a few souvenirs to bring home. In fact, the real draw comes from the constant bartering and bargaining. As soon as you enter the market, Albert Market isn't afraid to show you what Gambian life really is. Full of shimmering fabrics, shoes, colorful fruits and vegetables, you'll surely find yourself wandering around long enough that you start getting haggling skills. Number 2. Abuko Nature Reserve Abuko is unique among African wildlife reserves because it is small, accessible, and doesn't require a car to enter. For bird watchers and animal enthusiasts, a visit to Abuko Nature Reserve is definitely a must. In fact, about 33,000 visitors are recorded to visit per year just to watch birds like pied kingfishers, palm nut vultures, African paradise flycatchers, etc., and animals like vervet monkeys, ground squirrel, red colobus monkeys, and savanna antelopes. The reserve covers a 106 hectare and has a 5 kilometer path along with a field station that has views over a watering hole that's often a good place for wildlife watching. The Nile crocodiles and other slithering animals including pythons, puff adders, green mambas, spitting cobras, and forest cobras are the reserve's most well-known residents. This is also the only area in the Gambia where you could see western bluebills, ahanta francolins, white spotted fluff tails, and green and violet taracos, which is probably a buco. Number 3. Kachakali Museum About 16 kilometers from Banjul, the country's capital, is where you'll find the Kachakali Museum and Crocodile Pool, also known as the Kachakali Crocodile Pool. It is one of three holy crocodile pools where fertility rites are performed. The other two are Baranding on the north bank and Falonko in Combo South. The Bojang family of Bacau, one of the founding families and significant landowners of the city, owns the privately held shrine known as Kachakali. The Kachakali Museum is managed by the local community. About 1,000 historical relics are on show there. The Ethnographic Museum describes the history of the Bacau region and highlights the Gambia's diverse cultural heritage. Although the precise number of crocodiles is unknown, it is thought to be in the range of 80. All of the creatures are 4.5 meter long Nile crocodiles which can live just as long as a man. The area is unusual since there have been reports of albino crocodiles living there. The most well-known crocodile was perhaps Charlie, who, like others, was permitted to move freely and enabled people to go close to and pet him. Sometimes crocodiles captured in the wild are brought to sacred ponds where they are raised. The Kachakali Sacred Crocodile Pool is known for its healing properties and is a famous place where people come to pray for blessings. Infertile women who want to become pregnant often view it as their final resort. They receive hand washings from highly trained Bojang clan women and are then instructed not to shake hands with anyone in Bacau. Although tourists are the only people in attendance most of the time, there are still rare spiritual ceremonies held here that are frequently accompanied by dancing and drumming. Number 4. Kunta Kinte Island The Kunta Kinte Island, formerly known as the Fort of James Island, served as a trading hub for goods between the local Africans and the people of Latvia and Lithuania. Visitors come to the fort to observe the caves and jail buildings from British colonial times. 
about 30 kilometers from the river's mouth, in the center of the Gambia in West Africa, is where Kunta Quinte Island is situated. It contains the remains of a slave home, a fort, the governor's kitchen, and other structures related to the emergence of the Gambia River as the first European commerce route into interior Africa. The World Heritage Site consists of six more elements, five of which are found in the communities of Albreda, Jafura, and San Domingo on the opposite side of the river's north bank from the island. The six-gun battery and Fort Boland, the other component, are situated close to the river's mouth. Number five, Arch 22. The Arch is a popular tourist destination close to the capital of the Gambia and is renowned for its rooftop views of the city. The handwritten text of the president's takeover address is frequently the draw for tourists visiting the museum close to the monument. The tallest building in the Gambia is called Arch 22. It is a hollow pediment that is supported by eight enormous pillars that extend through three floors. It has a restaurant on the higher level of the central bridge from which you can enjoy the restaurant's panoramic views of the entire capital city and some of the Tanbi mangrove swamp while taking in the cool Atlantic Ocean breeze. There is a museum with Gambian art on the same floor. A small museum is also located on the third floor and is reachable through a spiral staircase. Number six, Burafoot Beach. The Atlantic Ocean and the Combo South District are separated by this lovely and magnificent tourist destination. There are 22 kilometers between Banjul and the Burafoot Resort. This beach is distinctive for its eco-friendly setting and the gold-plated sand that has been laid out on the shore, both of which contribute to the aesthetic appeal of the popular tourist destination. You have space to unwind and take in nature's splendor at this beach. You can see fishermen and ladies repairing their nets as they cast their nets into the water and sift the day's catch. As you stroll along the beach, you'll always experience that sensation of majesty. The beach has plenty of room for enjoyment. You can choose to wander along the sand, ride a bike, or engage in water sports as the sun kisses your forehead. Number seven, Gambia National Museum. The NCAC was established with the goal of preserving, promoting, and appreciating the nation's ethnic, cultural, and historic legacy. The National Museum, one of the top tourist destinations, is home to numerous important ethnic items. The National Museum of the Gambia is a cultural institution dedicated to the Gambian people. There are historical artifacts and exhibits on the history of the Gambia there. The main objectives of the museum are to collect and preserve objects that represent the material culture of the Gambia and to inform both foreign tourists and locals who might not be familiar with Gambian history. As a curator, Hasum also established kid-friendly museum programs like art lessons and historical film presentations, as well as a strong fine art temporary exhibition program that featured works of art by Gambian and foreign artists. Number eight. Bao Bolong Wetland Preserve. Between the countries and the River Gambia, the Bao Bolong Valley stretches for more than 140 kilometers. Alongside each other, it supports three distinct ecosystems, a mangrove forest, a salt marsh, and a savanna forest. Because of this, the marsh is a paradise for people who enjoy watching birds and other animals. The Bao Bolong Wetland Reserve is a 220 square kilometer piece of land on the north bank of the River Gambia that was formed in 1996. It is located 100 kilometers east of Banjul, the country's capital, and the estuary, which includes some of the upper and central Baribu districts. The Ramsar International Wetlands Convention, which the government joined in 1996, has recognized Bao Bolong Wetland Reserve, the Gambia's largest protected reserve, as a site of international importance due to its ecological importance. Number nine, Wasu Stone Circles. The Wasu Stone Circles in Gambia are thought to be over 1200 years old and have been dated to between 750 and 1000 AD. Because of this, local lore holds that anyone who disturbs those buried there will be cursed. The stone circles are situated at Wasu in the Central River region. This could explain why they have survived for so long with so little human intervention. There are 10 to 20 different stone sizes and circular forms, ranging in size from 4 to 6 meters across. Despite being graveyards, the stones themselves are more recent than the burials. 
Each stone column is 5 feet 9 inches tall on average. Numerous archaeological digs have been conducted since the 1800s on the 11 huge concentrations of circles which have confounded many travelers over the years. Number 10. Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Camp on the banks of the River Gambia located is the Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Camp. In a landmark agreement with the Gambian government in November 2008, Friends of Animals agreed to help fund the Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Project, an island sanctuary established in 1979 in West Africa in the River Gambia National Park. It is home to 140 chimpanzees who live in four groups in relative freedom. Without bars or cages, on three of the park's five islands. As an alternative, a lot of visitors stay at the project's lodging camp to observe them up close. The parents of many of the chimpanzees in the refuge were killed by bushmeat hunters or captured for use in exploitive activities, leaving the orphans. Some were voluntarily abandoned by those who had made the unwise decision to retain them as pets. There is always something to attract tourists visiting Gambia for the first time, whether they fly over to take advantage of its world-class bird watching, its golden sandy beaches, its exciting culture, or its dynamic atmosphere. Which of these places do you want to visit first? Also, check out this other video if you want to visit Guyanas. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.